It'll be over soon. She'll leave. This is a story about a trip to Baguio City that went wrong. Derived from the subreddit ParanormalPH, shared by the user I am Kiani. One day, she and her boyfriend was in Baguio together with two of their friends, Faye and Wally, who are also in a relationship. They were driving along South Drive when Wally suddenly turned all the lights inside the car on. At that moment, she knew something was very wrong. Her stomach started to turn and her heart started beating really fast. She closed her eyes and told herself, Ano ba? Stop being so paranoid! After giving herself a quick pep talk, she slowly opened her eyes and immediately started crying silently when she saw a reflection of someone sitting behind her boyfriend on her side of the window. She was shaking and crying, but still, since she thought that her boyfriend would be in some sort of danger, the only thing she could think of was to swap seats with him. And so she did. She wiped her tears away and inched closer towards him. Hey, uh, can we swap seats? She whispered. Huh? Bakit? Her boyfriend asked, clearly worried why she would want to exchange seats. However, she couldn't actually tell him that something bad was going on. Ah, uh, I just feel uncomfortable with all this space. Pwede bang dyan ako sa left side near the window? And you just sit really close to me. She lied. After switching seats, her boyfriend held her hand close to him while she tried not to look at the rear view mirror. But she couldn't help it. And so she did. She saw that the woman that was sitting behind them was still there. She never told any of her friends about the next thing that happened, but the reflection that she saw on the mirror was a girl looking at her dead in the eye through the rear view mirror. She was terrified and tightened the grip on her boyfriend's hand. She started breathing heavily like she was about to have a panic attack. What's going on? Faye asked. She was about to answer her, but then she realized this question was not directed to her, but to Faye's boyfriend. Wally. But then, Wally gave her nothing. Hey, what's wrong? She asked again with an extremely worried voice. Finally, she looked up to see Wally doing the sign of the cross. However, she didn't pray with him. She just closed her eyes and waited telling herself it'll be over soon she'll leave a few minutes after muttered prayers and silent cries the air around them started to feel lighter and thus she opened her eyes and Wally turned the lights off okay what's going on I know something's wrong you just don't pray out of the blue. Faye asked curiously. 
she and Wally cross-reference whatever they saw and felt during the last few minutes of their hitchhiker's short stay. Until now. She never looked at the rearview mirror again unless the driver asks her something and he or she wants to have eye contact. Through the mirror. A big thank you to I Am Kiani for letting her story be narrated in our channel. If you have a story to share, you may send it to the links down below. Please do not forget to subscribe and follow me on all my socials. Much love. Stay creepy.